Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater depth or cover something I have not, please put it into the comments. Today I'm going to, go, going to be going over setting up the API to use Nmap. Really, this is just an initial basic example that is for testing. My hope is that this will inspire others to draw on this example. A few things to go over. You will need the configuration covered in the Printified Links video covering the modification to the HTTP conf file. You will also need to install mod SSL as well as a self-signed certificate for this example. I will do a Let's Encrypt later on when I have access to more resources. Since the API uses curl, we will set it to ignore the validity of the certificate since curl won't use a self-signed cert. Finally, I have a PHP script that is loaded in the Git directory for you to use as an example at GitHub. Now, I'm assuming that you have a PHP IPAM 1.6 installed and that you have a functioning and installed PHP IPAM. So let's begin. To begin with, we're going to start at the command line. I want to confirm that I have mod SSL installed. I also want to confirm I have Nmap installed. Oh, not you, it's Y. There we go. Next, to get our certificate going, I need to make sure I have uh, OpenSSL installed. I'm going to make a directory for storing the private key. So I'm going to do that here. And I've made my key. And I'm going to also chmod my key. Now I'm also going to create a CSR. So I'm going to create that folder. And now I'm going to execute this. Uh, we'll just say it's US, anywhere, uh, default, default, default. Everything else can pretty much be default. And I'm not going to put in a challenge password. Now that we've generated the self-signed cert, um, we need to set up a validity period. Uh, that so I'm going to put it in my directories I created and then have it go out to there and there we go next I need to configure my web server to use this so let's go here now I want to go down to the SSL certificate file which should be, did I pass it no so the SSL engines on that's good. And there we go. So I'm going to just comment that one out. And I will put the one I just created in. And then I also need to update this guy, local host key. And this is going to go in my private folder. Make sure I put it here. There we go. And I think I'm done with that. So now I'm going to do a restart. And then now I'm pretty much done with the settings for the for the uh, at the command line. So now 
what I'm going to do is I want to confirm that I have the Prettify link set up. So I'm going to go here. This is because I just rebooted the server. Now you can see I have the Prettify links enabled, right? And that the API is set to on. Now, if you didn't, you would need to change those and hit save, right? So the next thing I want to do is I want to go to the sections and in here I want to create a section and pretty much I, all I need to do, we'll call it API and we'll call it test for, you know, API section. And the rest of this is just going to follow the standard rules. So, but all we're really worried about is getting our end map information into here. So I'm going to hit add. And now we have that. Next, I'm going to go to API under server management. And I'm going to create an API key. Now I'm going to call my app ID, right? I'm going to call it nmap. And then I'm going to have this guy here, right? And this is my app code or token. And what I'm going to do, and I'll show you this in a moment, I need to set the permissions for this demo. It's just read, write, admin. That's like full rights. And um, we'll put a description in. And I want to point out something with this. So we'll hit add. Did I rekey that? I did. Does it not look the same? Nope. I accidentally hit rekey on that. So as you can see, we now have the API. It's the app ID is called nmap12345. That's code. Read, write, admin is my permission. Everything else is default. And you'll notice the test API and last access, right? This was the description. So there's, I don't know if that's meant to be a typo or was a, and then last access is never because I haven't actually used anything on this. <laughs> now that we have this, I want to show you part of my script that's going to use this. And in here, whoops, in here, we have the API URL, which is HTTPS server name or IP app ID. So this would be not this one. This is the new one. So as you can see, the app ID is there. It's nmap. Let me bring that over a little bit. Right. So I would take this and I'm going to paste it into the app code or token. This will be my server IP address, which is 1.60. And then my app ID is the nmap12345. Down here, down at, and this is, you can see this later. This is one of my subnets. And then um, this one's a secondary that's intentionally broken. Um, and then finally, at the very bottom, I have main set to false. And this call will actually read all of my existing subnets and then scan them subsequently. I don't want to do that because it will time out and I've left the default settings in here. So we're only really concerned about these two. So it's set to false. Um, and oh, my token didn't copy. There we go. And I think that's everything except 
this one here. And the way you get the section code is you go to subnets and you see I made this one called API and the code or the number is number three. If I go to these default ones, which I left in here purposefully, that's number one is customers, IP6 is two, and then I, API is three. So if I come back here, you'll see that that's number three. And these are required by the API. So if you're gonna be placing a subnet in here, you have to define these things. I could have made that one, but I wanted to show this specific thing. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna to go to file manager and I'm gonna to go to the root. I'm gonna put my script in here and I wanna to go to create new file and I'm gonna call this nmap.php. And I'm going to grab my script and update it for you. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna now update my script here. And I'm gonna put it. And as you can see, this is a script. The script will be up on um, Git as soon as I'm done with this video. Uh, where did, oh, it's already set to three and okay, we have that. Now to run this, right? So first I wanna show you, there's nothing, right? So I'm gonna bring back this. And the reason this is in root and map oftentimes requires to be run as root, but um, so caution to the tail of that, right? So if if you have if you're working for your company, you might need to ensure your company's okay with doing this. So now. I have this command, I'm ready to run it. And as you can see, I got a code 201, so it was successful. It's running against this subnet. It's populating or scanning this, right? And if I go up here and I just hit there, you'll see it created this and this, which correlates back here. So, that's the subnet, the mask, the description in there, right? So right there, if I go here, you'll see that it actually was able to grab the IP address and it shows who scanned it and what it is and the MAC address. And if I go back to the script, right? See, it's failing on this because I don't have anything in that. And remember, if you're going to run Nmap, right, you need to be able to be in the same subnet to get the MAC address. So if you're the three isn't going to 192.168.3.0, it's this is not in the same subnet, so it's going to you know only give you the IP address and the host name. That is it. I hope this made setting up and understanding PHP IPAM's API feature with a third party application, namely Nmap. And finally, I wanted to thank you for watching my video. And as always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.